Hey there, it's Bread of Booster Therapy back with another giveaway for the month of September 2020. This month we're going to be giving away a Tulane Brawl deck to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do, same as the previous months, is like and comment on each of our videos and come October we'll be picking one of those comments from a subscriber and giving them the Tulane deck. Thanks again for all of your love, all of the support, and enjoy today's video. Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. I couldn't poke the hole unless I tried. There we go. This is a box that's sponsored by two patrons, and uh, we're doing something unique. We're splitting the box. I'm going to divide the packs up into two piles for Chris C. and Paul H., a couple of the generous patrons of Booster Therapy. And the box topper is going to work unique. Basically, we'll we'll give the higher valued box topper to the one that ended up pulling the lower value in total packs crack. So that's going to be, uh, we won't announce at the end of this video because as I'm shooting the video, I'm not going to know the total, uh, total benefit of each one and uh, we'll calculate it and I'll ship it out accordingly. So let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Just make sure we got two piles of 12 for each of these fine gentlemen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. That's the Chris pile. This is the Paul pile. <laughs> and this is Chris. You're up first. Welcome to the big show. Let's see what we can do for our buddy Chris C. And I am going to be sending all of the cards in this. So even the uncommons, commons, they're coming home to both you guys. Start off with a Savage Born Hydra and the Endless Atlas. I still really love this card. Not super high value, but very good. Steel Sabotage and a Thopter Engineer Foil. Another one that I actually really like. I love the Thopter Engineer. Mainly just because your artifact creatures get haste with it. It's a sneaky way to get haste and a lot of value all in one card. Two bodies and haste in a card. Not bad. Notable and commons, nothing there. Maelstrom Nexus, we get our first mythic. It's not a super high value one right now. Chris is like, Brett, don't let me lose this. I want to win. And then we get a Godo. Godo Bandit Warlord. A fun commander. Elvish Aberration and the Sarah Sphinx. Come on. Let's heat it up, Paul. Paul. Chris. Chris. Chris Paul. Chris, this is all you. Come on. Throne, Drown, Thirst of Knowledge, and a Reshape. Used to be worth a bit more. Is it a Mythic? Nope. You get a Merciless Eviction. It's a very useful commander board wipe. I love this one. And then we got Crusader, and we get our first foil rare. It is the Inkwell Leviathan. Boy, I need to be doing better than this. Come on. Give us give us a super give us a force of will. Both of these guys were just hoping for like a mana crypt force of will box topper, which is like at that point nobody loses, right? Like they're both just winners. No, I think the Force of Will is worth a bit more. Pongify? I like this uncommon. Galvanic Blast and a rare of Disciple of Bolas. And do we get a Mythic? Nope. The Blood Spore Threnax. Hiker Wellspring. Not bad. Not sure if that's worth anything in foil, but it is a pretty solid card. Come on, you know, the biggest the biggest goal here is to get the impossible to open mana crypt. Somebody said it's in here. I still haven't seen it, so I don't believe it. I only believe what I can see. Heat Shimmer. And we get a mythic behind it. It's a rare. Ooh, the master transmuter there is a, a very solid rare. Love this one. The riddle smith is actually pretty good too. Foil that might be worth a little bit. Not 100% sure, but we will certainly check. Come on, Chris. You deserve good cards. Believe in the good hits. You gotta believe. Crop rotation, Ash Barons. Oh, oh mommy, yeah, that's a spicy meatball. You believed enough, didn't you? 
Chris was like, Brett, I believe. And we get the second best card. I, I think Mana Crypt is still the highest, so. Oh my gosh, we get a Chris Ron Mythic behind it. That means it's a sword, right? Oh my gosh, what a pack. So Force of Will, come on, give us Feast and Famine. Oh, oh mia, fire and ice. Spicy a meatball. Twice as nice. What a pack. Well, a very disappointing beginning turns sharply into an insane opening. Wow. Chris. That was a hell of a pack, buddy. Let's keep that rolling. You got to ride the momentum. When it strikes, you keep going. Basalt Monolith. There's a good couple bucks. Cascade Bluffs. One of the more expensive filters. I do like this card. Oops, wrong pile here. And we get Brudaclad. Was a mythic, downshifted to rare. I still like this. It's one of my more favorited commander decks. A foil brainstorm. Very nice. And a foil Urza's power plane. That was just a solid pack all around. Some good cards all around. Crap rotation. A couple good foils. A couple solid rares. I guess Brudaclad's probably pretty low value, but it is high use. Kinder, Uvenwald, Dismantle. Come on, another mythic. Liege of the Tangle, it was a mythic. Similar to Brudaclad, downshifted. And Bosch, Iron Golem, done by the artist Brom. I don't know why that always gets me. It just does. We got four packs left. You can't be too disappointed though with a force and a sword when you're getting half the box. That's that's the hits you wanna you wanna get into. Craigenwick Cremator. And Rolling Earthquake. I just love this art. I mean, if you're only gonna play one Earthquake, that's the one to play. Expedition Map Foil, that might be worth a buck or two. And a Foil Ash Barons, I believe this is worth a buck or two as well. A couple solid foils there. The nice thing is what I'm hoping always is that I have a pretty even distribution between the mythics and usually i'm getting like seven or eight in these so it'd be nice to see each of these fine gentlemen get four or more each mesmeric orb very very good rare that is a great hit and behind it we have the blink moth nexus everyone wanted ink moth i mean i agree too for value still feel like blink moth makes more sense but Ink Moth, I guess, is it also an artifact? I believe it is, so really at the end of the day. You got one Infect, you might as well have a thousand in here. Everything Infect. Oh, oh mommy, yeah, that's a spicy <laughs> meatball. Season. Chris, you're running away with this one. Actually, if I recall, Chris, did you need a doubling season? I'm trying to look back at my comments. I know one of you two needed it. So, hey, we hit it. Chris, I hope it was you. Oh, mamma mia, my, that's a spicy meatball. What? <laughs> what is going on with this box? Oh, my gosh. Two double mythic packs. You get a doubling season and a Jace. I, I feel like I can confidently... I mean, I don't know. Anything could happen. A foil force of will with, the, with a mana crypt for, for Paul is possible. Uh, and that could maybe change the tide. But right now, I feel like even if Paul has a really good run, he's going to get the better of the box toppers. Vish Call Blood Arbiter. This is the last pack for greedy Mr. Chris. And the Blade Splicer. Loved when this was playable. Cloud Reader Sphinx and the Defiant Salvager. Wow. Man, we're going to clean this up. Put this pile off, off to the Chris side of the world. What a bot! What a what a first half of the box! Good lord! And let's get into uh, Paul's pile. Paul, I'm hoping we can uh, get the other half of this box to scream just as loud as that one did. That was great. Spellskite, nice solid rare. It's a good way to start. It's always good to start with solid rares. And the Conjurer's Closet, both very useful cards. And a couple of shiny cards, just for you. Just for you, Paul. I'm sincerely hoping we, we get a mana crypt, so I have to, like, kind of debate it. 
and a sort of feast and famine. I just want all the good stuff. Oh my God, exploration. This is a box. Ooh, this is a good box. Holy hell. And Austere Command, both very good rares. For not hitting the Mythics there, those are both very good. And we've only hit one foil rare, the Inkwell Leviathan, so we should get another foil rare in this side at least. Um, I've definitely had some with four foil rares in it as well. Oh boy. Ooh, Fatal Push. That is an all-day dollar. And the Boon Reflection. Gaining double life and Swift Blade Vindicator. And a couple of cards. Come on, let's get another double mythic pack. I want three double mythic packs all in one video. I think we've done I think I've done it once before. It is really satisfying. Ooh, lightning greaves. Here's some of the good uncommons poured in. And do we have a mythic? Nope. Ooh, but we have wound reflection. I will take that. I love the artwork on this too. The green and the black one turned out so good. Ooh. And Magus of the Will. And a couple of foils. Come on, Paul. Let's hit some magic cards that are good. Deep Glow Scape, useful. Great in Atraxa. And Oryxmethes, one of my all-time favorite commanders. I love that you can get it foiled out now because of this set, too, which is great. Whispering Wilds and Dark Steel Citadel. That's probably worth a buck or two. Gosh, I still can't get over that first type of Chris. We're getting some really solid rares on this side, too, for Paul, but we're just... We need, we need some top-end mythics to compete. Goblin Guide, again, uh, just a really good rare. Solid rare, very playable, likely to rebound a lot in price. And the Mirror Battle Sphere. Oop, and a couple of shiny cards. So what did we hit? We had five Mythics there, so I would hope to at least see two or three before we go to the box topper. At least. I'm hoping for way more. Ooh, Oubliette. There's a good four bucks. And Joyra's Familiar. We got a Mythic. A Mythic by Izzy. Why do I not know what this is? It's a creature. Ooh, Riku of Two Reflections. I feel like I don't see this one opened a lot. And just another very good card. I love Riku. Can it be another double Mythic pack? It's a rare. It's a greater good. Another good rare. Paul hitting all of the just rock solid cards. Oh, baby, and a foil hammer of Nizan. That is a good foil where that makes up for the Stinkwell Leviathan. This is so good. Man, hammer of Nizan. Very solid card. But where is that damn mana crypt? I'm really hoping to crack a mana crypt for Paul. One, because I need to see that damn thing. I need to know it exists. Two, Paul deserves it. Manamorphos, very good, uncommon. Selesnia Guild Mage. The Isochron Scepter. Paul, you're literally getting like all of the solid rares. Like all of just those really solid, will easily rebound rares. John Avon, so there's a couple cards. Thespian Stage maybe? Oh, Maelstrom Pulse. Solid removal card. Still played in Modern. And an Urza's Mine Foil. Another good foil. Four packs left. Best part about that, Paul, that means you still get eight more rares. Really nine, because you also get the box top, or at least half of it. Oh, boy. How are we going to do this? Where is it going to be? Beacon of Unrest. Mythic? Nope. Get the Lux Cannon. Big old Lux Cannon firing away. I love how that art looks. And Twisted Abomination. Oops, let's put those in the foil pile, please. The foil slash good uncommon pile. Three packs left. Come on, Paul. We need we need at least two more mythics here. And we need that. We know what we need. We all know what we need. It's a rare rugged prairie. Nice little filter land. And another rare we get Heartbeat of Spring. The friendliest mana doubler in the game. Come on. 
Big time mythic. Let's do this. I'm going to keep slow rolling. I feel like it brings me extra luck. Got Court of Calling. Man, we really are getting the good, just good rares. And, oh, Chris Ron Mythic, come on. Sword of Feast and Famine. Do it. Oh, Light and Shadow. It's a good one. It's still a good Mythic. Light and Shadow is the third best of the swords. Very solid Mythic. Another good pull. Man, if we get a Foil Sword, too, in the last pack here. All right, come on. Give us a double Mythic pack. Give us a double Mythic pack. Make this the best box worth splitting in the whole world. I want to see that Mana Crypt. Disciple of the Vault, Explorer, Rare, got Stone Hero Giant, that's a good rare. Okay, it's another rare. It's a team, a, a du dual artist rare. It's Phyrexian Metamorph. Good, solid rare. It's gone a lot, way down in price though. And a couple of foils. Well, I can confidently say, Paul, you get the better of the two box toppers here because Chris ran away with that one. And we had, if I recall, seven mythics. So this has been seven mythics, which is a pretty good box. Hopefully we see two mythics here. All right, so the first one up is Goblin Guide. Okay, so we have a Goblin Guide. Let's hope behind this is a mythic. And that will be likely Paul's mythic. It is a mythic. Come on. That looks like a planeswalker. Oh, Mamma mia, it's that's the a carn. spicy meatball. That's a silly Karn. Paul is taking home Silly Boy Karn. And the Goblin Guide, of course, is going to go on top of the Chris pile. Not too bad for splitting a box. I feel pretty good overall. Again, a lot of solid rares. The Hammer of Nizan foil and Chris had an absolute insane opening. But just remember, Mana Crypt is a fake. It's a fraud and it doesn't exist. Until next time, thank you patrons, thank you Chris, thank you Paul. You all have a wonderful rest of your day.